Okay, guys, thank you. We are um, going on now for our fifth toss, and it's quite a G, uh, uh, quite a leap today. Um, we will be tossing the birds around. I think it's around 65 kilometers today. So the furthest they've been is 25 or 30 kilometers. Now we're going to 65 kilometers. Um, the whole week they've been tossed from the opposite direction um, in which we do fly in the line of flight at my workplace and that was only 26 kilometers then they had one 30 kilometer or 25 kilometer toss from the this direction we're driving in now and now we're jumping them back in the other side to 65 kilometers it's probably not ideal to jump them like this and it's a bit risky but I don't have a choice at this stage uh, time is running out um, and we'll see so but it's a nice headwind today a northeasterly wind um, so they're gonna have it almost a little bit on the left wing and on the nose uh, wind is blowing at around uh, 15 kilometers to 18 kilometers an hour it's not that bad but it's it's a nice little training uh, head, headwind so they are gonna have to row a little bit and work a little bit um, so the road we are tossing on now is the N14 uh, road between Krugersdorp and Ventersdorp and I'm gonna pass the Klerkskral um, Waterworks Dam um, just past that on the left on the farm we will uh, toss the birds from there uh, this morning when we counted the birds, when we basketed them uh, we counted about 69 that we that we did basket um, when we started off with the tossing in the beginning of last week uh, we, we basketed 70 although there was a few others in the loft as well um, around 80 so I think all in all uh, between the we did lose a few birds and then there's a few that uh, had to be eliminated from the team due to quality concerns um, but uh, so all in all 69 so my goal was always to fly with 55 to start off the season when we when the ra when the racing starts so we're on 69 now so 55 birds will mean that we will fly only young birds but we're going to fly a team in the open bird series as well so it's going to be 20 young birds and then 20 birds in the open uh, or the, in the all bird team and then either we will fly a sprint team or a junior team that means that all the birds will pretty much fly uh, each week we do have a 20 bird limit um, at the club this year we always had 15 so if need be we have some tired pigeons or injured pigeons we don't have to uh, basket 20 we always basket 12 or 15 but um, so 50, uh, 55 birds will actually be the ideal number to start off with um, I don't know how many we're gonna shake today hopefully not too many and hopefully the ones that we do shake are the ones that we don't care much for but they all have a chance now to prove themselves um, you know to, to show that they, they belong in the team um, so again today is going to be a nerve wracking one um, but we'll see how it goes um, so yeah we'll see you at the liberation spot nearly there now um, and then we'll chat to you guys now now okay so here we are ladies and gentlemen um, there in the distance you can see Klerskral Dam so we're right at the dam on the N14 between Krugersdorp which is to your right and Ventersdorp to your left um, it's about 40 kilometers from Ventersdorp so they will be doing a 65 kilometer uh, flight today which will be the furthest that they've been and if you can hear the wind you'll know that it is blowing quite briskly and um, 
just going to show you. I'm going to throw some grass up. So it's directly from a northeasterly direction. So like I said, on the left wing they should feel the wind, and but mostly on the nose. Um, they are going to be working today to get home, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, here we are. We're just going to let them settle a little bit. Let them settle a little bit and then we're going to let them go. Um, but they're quite feisty. Uh -uh, don't fight. You need to save your energy there. So, yeah, we're going to just give them a, a time to settle. And then it'll go. I'll probably say a quick silent prayer that um, they will make it home safely. And uh, hopefully we don't lose too many. Or any for that matter. And if they do make it home today nicely, we will go on the very same road tomorrow, but uh, 40 kilometers on to that direction, to Ventersdorp, past Ventersdorp. And that will be 104 kilometers as the crow flies that we will uh, toss them tomorrow if everything goes well. Um, and then on Monday, we will be basketing them on the Union truck and the training flights. Um, and then they will have 108 kilometer toss on Tuesday morning. Um, Liberation is at Vredefort. So yeah. Okay, son, I think... Uh, we can let them go now. I've got my... Just stand at the back of the baskets, otherwise they're going to fly into you. Okay, open, I can open them up. There goes the first basket. There goes the second basket. There's the third. Now, so they're gonna. That's the smallest of the baskets. Now they caught up with each other. I just want to get to that group. So we're letting them go as one group now because it's all young birds. It's probably be, you can let them go in smaller groups, but I mean, I guess it won't make, make such a big difference. I can't. reflecting the sun so I can't really see what am I filming there but hopefully you can see them there we go still circling still circling trying to find our way home so yeah don't know where they are now there they go okay guys so um Let's see what happens. So here are the birds. They basically came home at the very same minute we did. And they mostly here in one group, which is a very, very good sign. Well done, boys. That's a mooi manna. Mooi manna. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Kom, 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 kom. Mooi, mooi, mooi. Ik is trots op jullie. Kom, kom, kom. Skerelkop, en is jij. Kom. Klein Willem. Wat zoek je daar? Kom, kom, kom. Jullie moor tijd, jullie moor tijd. Kom. En we hebben about 30 seconds and they're all in the loft. Succesvol toss. Okay, so we've got four latecomers. They're about three to four minutes behind the pack. Come. Can you hear There they are. And there we go. Onsal Nano Hotel. I think that should be most of them. Okay, so it seems like we have most of them back. I did do a count now. Um, out of the 69, I think there's 64 back. 
Um, I might have counted wrong, um, or the, or there might be five still in the bush. But uh, I'm quite satisfied with the way they came. So what I'm doing now, it's the first long toss. I just want to have them to de-stress a little bit. So they're having a bit of a bath. And um, so they're going to have a little bit of a bath now, an open loft a little bit. Um, this is a little bit out of um, routine, but I think I'm trying to create a love of home. And then you really need to, you know, come home and feel like this is, this is where I belong. And not in someone else's loft. And uh, yeah, so here they are. They look in pretty good shape. So what I'm going to do now is, as you probably know by now, I'm a bit of a grit freak. So today it's a different grits time. Okay, so um, I'll be giving them a little bit of grit today again. So I just want to show you this grit I'm also giving every now and then. This is Versala Lager grit. Um, it's the Belgian grit. Now I can't see anything on my screen. I hope this thing is recording. But anyway, it's the Versala um, Versala Lager Mineral Fooder Belgium Recipe. So it's a bucket like this. It's got redstone and it's got a few grains in there and shells and a few round stones. It's quite a soft one. So this is the one that they'll be getting today. So I'm going to put it here outside. Uh, where they're having a bath, so after they had their bath, so I'll just take a handful of this, like so. And I'll, I like to sprinkle it, because this is how they pick up grid when they in nature, outside. So they like to graze a little bit. And can you see, they love the Versala Lager um, grid, and look at them coming for the Especially the redstone, they love the redstone. And after they had this, I'm going to put a bit of charcoal out. Uh, the black mineral from Sparky Black Mineral. And um, yeah, so that's what we'll be having today, as well as the. My. Um, elephant bush. I'm going to pick a few leaves. And they'll be having this as well. I'm just going to put a few leaves out for them. Um, and let me show you something else that I do. Now this is of course not necessary, I think. But for those who know me, I like a concoction and I like something different. Like my friend Richard tells me, I've got always got some weird stuff going on. This is budgie seed that we've germinated. Can you see it's budgie seed? Now it um, springs up like this. It grows very quickly. So I'll just take a handful of this. Like so. And it comes out of the root and all. Like so. And this is mint. So I take a bit of mint. Here we go. And I take a bit of uh, thyme. Here we go. Out of my herb garden. My wife don't see this now. And kill me. Butchering her plants, but I planted it for the pigeons, nevertheless. So, there we go. And here's another concoction brewing of which I won't tell you about right now. This is for the breeding pigeons. I will tell you, I'll make a special video about that little mixture there. That's termite mount, by the way. It's just weighing down the takeaway container, but what's in there, top secret stuff. Tune in. Tomorrow for, for the reveal. But anyway, we are going to give them the greenery. And they will, the budgie grass and the elephant bush, I'll just sprinkle it amongst the, um, the grit. And they will have it at will. So yeah, guys, I think this was a successful toss. Um, quite happy about today.